Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another haul for you and today's haul is going to be a tabletop sale haul or jumble sale haul I suppose. Um, basically I popped into a local like village hall um, the other day and they were having a tabletop sale and I also went to a like a charity sale at work um, a few weeks ago where I picked up a few bits and pieces as well. Um, so I've got some random stuff to show you, so I thought you might be interested in it. It's very similar to my car boot sale hauls or charity shop hauls, but this one is um, just from a tabletop sale. But I just thought I'd explain um, what that is in case you weren't familiar with it. And I know lots of you in the US ask me what is a car boot sale. A car boot sale here in the UK is where people put all of their unwanted belongings into their car, usually, and then drive to the car boot sale and they open up the boot, or the trunk, I guess you would call it, and sell all of their things, usually at a table, sort of in front of the car, um, but with the car boot open at the back as well. So that's why it's called a car boot sale, because I think traditionally people literally would just open up the car boot and sell everything, but nowadays people usually have a table set up as well. So I hope that um, makes sense, and now we'll get straight into it. Before we do, if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week, and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. It. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up at the uh, tabletop sale was this plant pot. So this is just a um, green glaze on the top and then it's got a matte kind of cream off-white colour at the base. It doesn't say who it's made by but it seems like a nice quality one and uh, yeah, that was one pound. I keep buying plant pots but I still haven't got all of my plants in pots yet so when I see them for um, a good price like that, I can't resist them. I picked up this basket. This is just a flat, almost like a tray. I thought this would look quite nice with um, watches or sunglasses lined up in it on my chest of drawers, and this was 50p. I got these, what the lady said were suitcase handles. I'm not sure if they're suitcase handles or if they're meant for a piece of furniture or for something else. I think I've got six in the packet here, or there might be eight. So I thought they'd be quite good for a little upcycle project. I thought I could actually attach these onto a um, chest of drawers or maybe onto another project, maybe a smaller cabinet that just needs a couple of drawer handles. I thought the leather looked really cool. So I've got one, two, yeah, so I've got six. So I could um, potentially do something with those. I thought um, they were quite good. And um, because I wasn't really sure about them, she just gave me um, the bag for, I think it was one pound, um, because yeah, I said I didn't know if I'd be able to do anything with them, but um, she let me have all six for a pound. I guess you could make a tray with them as well. They could be handles on a tray. Um, yeah, any other ideas, uh, let me know in the comments down below. At the same table, I got these coasters. So these are classic movie posters by Disney. It's also got Dumbo, uh, Daffy, no, what's he called? Donald. <laughs> Donald Duck and uh, Mickey Mouse as well. Those were originally from Clinton Cards for £10. So those were 50p. I also spied this mixing bowl. So the lady said that this is a really good quality one. It was previously owned by a chef because they had all different people donating their things for um, the tabletop sales to a fundraiser. Um, and this was £1. And I'm going to give this to Luke and hopefully um, he'll be able to make a Christmas pudding in that. I don't know if that makes me a good friend or a bad friend because I'm blatantly just giving it to him in the hope <laughs> that I'll get some Christmas pudding. I saw these IKEA frames. These are Stromby. I'm not sure if these ones are still in store or not. With a nice solid metal um, black frame. So these were... How much did she want for these? 50p each. And then um, she did me three for one pound, which I thought was an incredible deal. And these are going to be perfect for some prints that I've just got. A company on Etsy called the Jolly Good Paper Boutique reached out to me and asked if I would like some of their prints. 
and um, I had a look and I thought they were really, really cool. So I said, um, yeah, I'd absolutely love a couple. Um, so I'll just quickly show you the ones that I've got from them. Um, so they do these ones that are personalized. Basically the way they work is they send you a PDF image in either A4 or A3 that you can print off at home. Um, so I went for this one. I'm just trying to show you without the reflections. Um, so this one says Mr. Carrington. So you can get these personalized so you could have your name done on this. Um, I'll link them down below in case you want to get your hands on one yourself. Um, but it's really easy because they'll literally just send you over the PDF email pretty much straight away, I think. Um, so really quick turnaround, you're not waiting around. And then um, you can print it off at home. So that could be a really good last minute gift for somebody because you're not gonna have to wait for the postage and packaging. If you've got a picture frame, you could just um, drop them a line and get a personalized um, little print sent over to you. Print it off at home or at your local library or printers. And then um, you'd have one of these. So I've got Mr. Carrington. Um, so I framed that one up already to see how that one's looking. Um, and maybe I'll find, I need to find another place to film, I think, where I can put a few of these up. I might go into that corner over there where I've got the, um, do you remember the cabinet that I've got to sort out still? Um, I might go into that corner for a few videos. We'll see. And the other print that I got from them, which I absolutely love, is this one that I need to frame still. And it says, home is where the Wi-Fi connects. Oh yes, <laughs> um, very appropriate um, for me at the moment because honestly, um, doing YouTube has changed my opinion on Wi-Fi um, altogether. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was something that was important to me, but since doing this channel, it's uh, life because <laughs> it makes life very, very difficult um, if I don't have good Wi-Fi for uploading these videos. Um, so yeah, so home is where the Wi-Fi connects and uh, the personalised one will be going up. And I need to have one more as well. So I'm thinking maybe a nice leaf print, maybe some green or just some black leaves. Um, so I need to find one. If you can recommend where I could get a nice leaf print from, um, then let me know in the comments down below and I'll get those framed up and hung up very soon. And then I spied something else from Ikea. So this is it in its box. You can't really see what it is, um, but just to show you up close, it's this metal, it's actually a small chest of drawers in this metal kind of basket design. So this is it, it's called Lenart, and it's got three drawers that slide in and out, and it's also um, on wheels at the back. Um, yeah, it's not too big. I think these are quite reasonable in Ikea anyway. I think they're about the £10 mark. I got this for £2.50. So I think that'll be quite a nice piece to probably put into the bathroom to store products in. I think that's where it's gonna go. And then from the charity sale at a job that I was on, I picked up a few bits and pieces, very random stuff. Um, but the first thing that I got was this um, polystyrene half ring. So this is like a wreath base I thought I would use that for. I'm not sure if that's what it's meant for, um, but I'm guessing that's what it's for. Um, I'd like to do a few more wreaths into autumn and I might do a Christmas wreath again this year. I did do one last year, if you fancy having a watch of that, it will be way down in my videos. I made like a full natural wreath with willow um, and bits and pieces. And I also made um, this one here. I made this one at the autumn and winter Ikea event that I went to. So yeah, I thought um, I quite like making wreaths, so I thought I'd be able to do something with that one. Um, so hopefully that will be a DIY coming soon. I got some massive cable ties. I know it's not very interesting, um, but I picked those up as well. I thought they would be good for out on the roof garden to keep the trees um, in position because they keep getting blown about. It's been so windy recently. Um, so I keep finding them sort of on the floor and um, completely toppled over um, because the pots aren't that heavy. So um, yeah, I thought they could help strap those up. This is another thing from Ikea. This is called Strala and this is a plug-in lamp, but it's a long flex on it. And in our hallway, there's a bit of a gloomy spot, but I have got a plug there. So I thought I could feed the flex up all the way up the wall, across the ceiling and dangle that down. And it would look like one of those cool um, string lights. So yeah, um, so I got that as well. And it's got the little plug on it as well. And just a simple um, fitting there. I hope it's got the thing. Yeah, it's got the thing. So I could put a um, cool light, um, what do you call it? <laughs> So I could put a cool lampshade on that and maybe have a nice um, antique light bulb hanging down and it would look quite cool. I also got this command hook 
um, another random thing I know, but these are quite pricey, I think. Um, they're not the cheapest, so if I do see them at a car boot sale or a um, charity shop, I will pick them up because they're very handy um, to have around the house. Um, for hanging things obviously and these are great if you're renting because they do um, hold things up very well. This one would go to 2.2 kilograms but then also you can remove them afterwards so you're not going to damage the wall. And the final random thing that I picked up is these birthday candles. These are the sort of things that you just need to have in your kitchen drawer because you never know um, when you're going to have a birthday celebration I guess and for me it's any excuse to have a uh, cake so if we've got birthday candles in the kitchen drawer then all the better for it. So that is everything let me know in the comments down below which item was your favourite and if you've got any ideas for any of the items that I've shown you of what I could do with them around the house if you've got any good uses for things like the cable ties what sort of wreath I should be making what else have we got here what you could bake in that um pudding bowl any suggestions for that you can go and um tell luke over on his channel any ideas for the what they called suitcase handles which i'm not sure if they are suitcase handles um, i'd love to hear those as well and let me know if you picked up any tabletop sale bargains do you have tabletop sales where you are it might be the sort of thing you might find coming up towards christmas as well often there'll be something going on in a village hall or a um, church hall and you can go and have a look to see if they've got a bit of a jumble sale as well you might pick up a bargain too so that's everything i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget if you're new here to hit subscribe i'm posting new videos every single week and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye and for me it's any excuse to have a cake so if we've got um, birthday candles in the Chris christmas